Hey Darklings, I told you guys I would do a, another haul video for you guys because Bath & Body Works just put out their Halloween stuff last night but they couldn't sell it till today so I did go there and get a lot of stuff. I feel like Halloween 2022 at Bath & Body Works has been a success although I will go back and get a few more things especially if it is on their website. And then I also got a few things at Michael's because they put in more um, town stuff out. They don't have all the other Halloween stuff out yet. Lady like said maybe within a couple days they'll definitely have more stuff out. Because I told her I was looking for the Halloween stuff, uh, not just like the village stuff. And I also went to the thrift store, Walmart. So I'll show you guys those things first. Bath and Buddy Works. Skeletor wanted to be in the video, so he is holding on to my bag from Bath and Body Works, and I will show you guys everything that I have. So, all right, so I'll start with this. Um, I kept debating whether I should get it or not, but it's pretty cool. It's a pumpkin, um, like a silicone pumpkin thing it lights up and it's supposed to hold your soap um so yeah see there it lights up right there and um got me this this is supposed to glow of course it lights up um this is bats um oil holder wall wallflower um, plug-in holder so I got that this this is definitely one of the biggest things I went for and I was afraid if I did not get it now because a lot of things especially things like this will be sold out quickly and um, it lights up let me try to turn it on it has like a raven inside it lights up and it makes noise I discovered that hold on this one was $79, but I did have a 20% off. And then here's just the light if you want it with just light. Um, the candle holder uh, pedestal. Um, I did not know, know it made sound, however, but when I did see it online, I did know that it does definitely light up. And do this which is why I wanted it but because it makes sound too and it's it's just I love it I love Bath and Body Works 2022 Halloween stuff is a go so definitely go to your Bath and Body Works if you want stuff like what I'm showing um, hurry because most of most things will probably end up being sold out uh, rather quickly especially online and I learned that lesson last year when I didn't get the the witch hand pedestal, I think is what they called it. I do, one of the things I do want to go back and get is the eyeball thing, if they still have it. I'm not going to be totally bummed out if I don't get it, but it's pretty cool. And um, the black cat wall plug-in um, with the witch hat. But I did also get this wall plug-in. Of course, what is Bath & Buddy Works Halloween without getting vampire blood? One of the other ladies there um, said this was one of her favorite ones. Oh my god. Yes. And it will be perfect for my new pedestal. If you are looking for things to keep up all year round to go with your goth decor, some of this stuff works really well. Or like accessories like the uh, sanitizer holders, sanitizers, things like that. Definitely a must. Also, we have this Enchanted Candy Potion Spray, which smells pretty good. Especially since I bought the sanitizer and it was my first time buying that scent. And it actually smells pretty good, so I wanted the spray. Um, and then I got this Pumpkin Latte mu Mushroom. Mushroom, not mushroom. Ugh. I can't get my words out. Marshmallow pumpkin latte, which is my one of my favorites that they have each year so far. 
It smells amazing. Sad thing is I had to stock up on a lot of this because my fiance likes to use my sprays even though I tell him not to. Because um, they're not all like exactly cheap. I mean, they're not expensive either, but especially my Halloween ones, I want them to last. Got this pumpkin carving one, uh, diamond shimmer dust. I got me candy corn <laughs> lip gloss. It has some new lip glosses. Um, then another candy corn. There's another one I got that was like a sour something. Now these are new soaps. I don't remember these from last year. They might have had them last year. This one's, uh, um, I don't know. I haven't smelled it. I just got it because of, hmm. Not too bad. And then here is another soap holder. And we got Vampire Blood soap. This is the foam one. I also got the regular one. Here is another one called Stardust Magic. Then here is another sanitizer holder. This one's for the spray one specifically. Uh, it says <laughs> the wings flap, of course. Ah, and it closes. How cute is that? And another wall plug-in. Definitely cute with the crystals. Got a witch. We have a witch hand hair holder for soap, and it makes noise. <laughs> that is pretty cool. I love it. And here is the non foam. Found it. Found the sour candy one. Now this this bag I am using now is from Walmart. So I'll show the other things I get from Walmart. And of course, I put some of my new um, sanitizer holders from Bath and Body Works from my first visit. Here is a shirt. The skull. Then I got me this black skirt. And these are the last few things I got at Walmart. Um, rest of the things I got was grocery um, for work in the house. Since my father in law is diabetic and can't eat a lot of food that me and my fiance eat. But yeah, these are the only Halloween things I bought it. Technically, Night Before Christmas can be looped in there with that, but I've seen Night Before Christmas bag, which I have another from Walmart that's different. Um, that was way before Halloween. Not at this time, but like earlier. And then the shirt and the skirt, perfect as well. And then I got some stuff from the thrift store. I'll get to Michael's in a second because that's just, you know, stuff for my Halloween town. But I got this jacket thing. It's not a zip-up jacket or anything. It's kind of like a dressy kind of jacket. And it's originally from H&M. So, looks pretty cool. I also found me this fedora from the thrift store. Looks pretty cool. I'm gonna have to wash it, of course. And I got me this uh, crop top thing. And I got me these stretchy pants. 
bag of crystals and stones for $25, not bad. And then these are the uh, chip ones, which were $4. But yeah, I saw there's quite a bit. And I have this figure, which my fiance got for himself, but it looks really cool. I love it. She looks really cool. She's got a crescent moon on her head. This one he bought for me though. This one's mine. Yeah, mine was 30 and this one was 10. He believed that the bigger one was the cheapest one and the small one was 30. So. Alright, we're at the last bit, I promise. <laughs> Big bag for not very many things that I purchased. And I had a coupon so I saved on one of these things. So I got me this skeleton. I'm going to try to see if I can just take them out maybe or maybe give a closer look. I bought one of these, one for me and one for my fiance. So this is pretty much what they have out. It's like their spooky like town stuff. La Max is what they call it. Um, and some of their fall like floral stuff, things like that, and some of the decorative pumpkins. But other than that, they don't have their other stuff out yet until maybe a few days. That's what the lady told me. And then I also have this one right here. And that's it besides the other one. But uh, two hauls within a day or two of each other because I definitely had to go back and get the Halloween stuff that they were going to put out for Bath and Buddy Works. They couldn't put it out early, unfortunately, so had to wait, but very happy for waiting. And because I got there before they opened, I was the only one besides one other customer who was in there, but that customer got something that wasn't Halloween, so I was lucky to get in there and get my stuff and be out and then go to Michael's, which is a couple stores down, and um, to the thrift store. So I found me some good, great things today. I want to be definitely Halloween hunting from this point forward um, at other stores, especially Marshalls. I would think hopefully maybe in a couple weeks, like uh, maybe next week or week after, they should probably have some more stuff out and I'll probably go back to Bath and Body and get some more things. So, so far Halloween 2022 is... Not bad this year, especially for one of the thrift stores. Not the one closest to my house, but another one. Um, Hospice Haven is what it's called. Uh, it's a resale store, thrift store. And they've been having stuff out for the past couple months for Halloween things. And like I said, they know me so well. I come in there. And because my previous haul, before this haul, we brought out the scarf, said she was about to put it out, asked if I wanted to look at it, if I wanted it, and of course I got it. So, it's really cool when you go into these stores and they know you so well, especially when you go for things like that. They will look out for you. Um, the one by my house, I used to have a lady that worked there before she moved out of state, and she would always look out for me and find things for me. Uh, she found these shoes, which I still have, with uh, these purple shoes with like the bat shape along the footing and um, spider webs. And they look really cool. So there's a lot of stuff that I've found there. I even found like a coffin purse, like a metal case that they used to have, like up at the front, they had it there and like a um, glass casing up there at the registers and I don't know I've, I've found quite a bit of like really cool stuff at thrift stores throughout the years but the one by my house now for 
a while. It's been like a more of a miss than a hit. Other than going to hospice. And I'm not going to really go to the Goodwill here much anymore because I was told by one, uh, the workers at hospice that Goodwill is now selling the stuff they don't want to sell there. They're good stuff. They're good products that they don't want to put out on the floor. They will sell that online versus putting it out on the floor for someone to purchase. Which I think is kind of stupid because, I don't know, I just haven't had very much luck like finding things like I used to at Goodwill besides clothing here and there so I will stick to the stores that I actually will be able to get decent things I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I will be having more videos out soon because it is spooky season and I am very happy even though Halloween is all year round, but this time of year though is what I look forward to because I can find find more like spooky goth decor. Now I do like some of the cute Halloween stuff, even though a couple years back, a couple years back or something, I would have probably been like no because I wanted stuff that was more of like stuff you can keep up all year, um, goth decor, which I still do. I don't keep up all the cutesy stuff. All year maybe some of it but most of it I want to be like spooky like goth decor type things so, I hope <laughs> wish me luck this year that I find more things especially spirit Halloween I'm waiting for them to um, have their locations of course they probably won't have one here in, in St. Augustine where I live there's one time that they were going to, and this was during the whole COVID, um, like when it was just still a thing, like new. I mean, COVID's still here, of course, but they decided not to open it, even though they're supposed to open it, and the signs were there, and had to travel to the town I always travel to, Jacksonville. Just so that I can go to Spirit Halloween, which they had a couple locations, obviously, bigger and smaller stores. And I found me a lot of cool shit last year from Spirit Halloween. I found me my, my um, Chucky and Tiffany doll and a lot of really cool shit. So I'm looking forward to Spirit Halloween this year, Marshalls, um, TJ Maxx, which I'll have to also go in the next town because I only have Marshalls. I don't even have an at home or home goods, so I'll have to go to Jacksonville for that. Um, I have not yet ever been to a Joanne's Fabrics, but I guess I've seen people in the goth community that go there and find cool stuff. Voltaire, I liked when he went one year, I think, yeah, one year he went there and it looked like he found some cool stuff. Like, I don't know, I had to, actually I think the one he went to was in Jacksonville too, that's the thing. So, I'm like feeling nostalgic. I'm looking forward to um, September, hopefully, because Voltaire is coming down here to St. Augustine in the middle of September. So I'm hoping to, obviously, I can't ask off time because inventory at my work's in October, but because he's coming in September, I can ask that time off. And then my fiance wants to this year go to, um, what is it? What is it? In Orlando, Disney, Halloween time. Fuck. Um, they have like haunted houses and like um, other things there. Fuck. Sometimes they have like their themes picked out for each year. Halloween Horror Nights. That's what it is. I've not been to one at all. And I live here in Florida. Why haven't I gone? Because the other years we didn't have a car. And when he used his dad's car he you know he can only drive it so far because <laughs> he could, just couldn't drive further but now he has his own car and we can actually go hopefully this year i really want to go there and i want to see voltaire i want to meet voltaire now if a video vision band comes to florida i definitely want to see them because i definitely want to uh meet them that'll be awesome and
and the convention if you're in Florida and you're watching the convention if you um, like Altair he'll be playing more at the nighttime I think it's gonna be at ancient city con and it's gonna be at world golf village so yeah anyways thank you guys for watching sorry I've been blabbing I know I haven't been doing much videos lately Besides TikTok videos, like I said, I was going to because I told you guys I was going to be less active on here and be more active on TikTok, which is true. But because it's a spooky season, that's a whole new different thing. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!